to remove the control board from the housing. I disconnect all the cables first. Like there are cables in the front. And then there are some plastic clips on the back that you want to push and then push it out so the board will be detached from the housing. I received the repaired board. There are six connections on the board. I think one, two, three, four, yeah, five and six. Like there are five clips, plastic clips on the back. Just make sure you're grounded. The cables are short, so I need to push the control board to the housing first before connect all the cables. I did take a picture before I removed the control board from the housing. So I line up the board exactly the way it was before. And then I'm going to push the plastic clips um, into the housing. Before I remove the clips on the board, I mark the numbers. Each one is different, so if you do not want to mark it, that's fine. Um, it's very easy to identify because they are they have different pin numbers and um, all the connectors are different. Now I need to connect all the pins. So just push it in. Push it and here you hear a click. And here you hear a click. So I mark this. The top one is upper left and upper right. And I mark the bottom one is one, two, three, four. Each connector is different, unique. You won't mess up, but I just want to be sure. Now they're all in, I'm going to remove the my label. So put the housing in and then there are two screws that you want to attach. Put the screw back and clean the, the dust inside. And attach the grounding cable to the frame and put this unit back in place.
plug in the power, it's working. It's not making the chirping sound. 